A um, little reward for when I'm done here today. Mm, cupcake and my daughter baked. Five, four, I already had one. Three, it's freaking fantastic. Two. What's up everybody, my name is Mark and today I want to quickly show you how you can create a custom Instagram friendly preset using Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll also show you how you can upload your videos directly to your Instagram account straight from your computer. And I also want to show you this really cool rotary phone I picked up today. Look at this thing. This thing is ancient. Hello? 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 Old school. Hey, I'm Plague. I feel like ah! So this is a quick Instagram video I cut for my friend Blake, who's taken the year off to travel the world. He's blogging about it, as well as sharing his story on Instagram. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro, and this is my video right here. So this is what I want to export. I'm just gonna go to my file, export media, and then I wanna change this to H.264. And then we're gonna create a custom setting. So I'm gonna go through the video settings and just uncheck these. We're gonna make our own and then save as a preset. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is, you don't really need to worry about this stuff right here. So I'm just gonna skip and keep this as simple as possible. I'm not gonna go into the technicalities of what all this stuff means, but um, so we have effects, video, audio, multiplexer, captions, and publish. All we really need to worry about are video and audio, so that makes it a little easier. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the screen resolution to an Instagram friendly screen resolution, which would be 640, oops, 640 by 360. Uh, frame rate, I'm gonna make this uh, 23976. Field order progressive is fine. And then for the profile, we want to stick to main. So that's good. Scroll down here. So for the level, we're going to set to 3.1. And then make sure render at maximum depth is clicked. We're going to go to VBR two pass. And we're going to set our target bit rate to three and our maximum bit rate to four. So we're gonna click use maximum render quality. And those are all good. And right here, it gives you the estimated file size around 20 megabytes. So this video is about 50 seconds. So you'll, you'll see you get 20 megabytes at 50 seconds. So I think 24 to 28 megabytes is where you wanna be. So if your video is the full 60 and you're a little bit higher than 26, I would mess around with the target bit rate and maximum bit rate just to kind of get that to the kind of desired 24 to 26 megabytes. Okay, so it looks like that's all good. So the next thing we're gonna to go to is the audio settings. Audio format AAC we're gonna keep. Um, we're gonna switch this to 44,100. We're gonna switch the, stair the channel to mono. And we'll keep the audio quality high, target bit rate 160. Um, and that should do it for the audio settings. So after you're kind of done setting that up, you wanna save these settings as a preset. I'm gonna call this Instagram preset 23976. And then I'm going to export the video with those settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and export. Once the video is exported, the next step is to upload it directly to your Instagram account while on your desktop. But you will have to download a very small program and it works for both PC and Mac. I've left the link in the description. It's called Grambler and it's, I love it just because I can do it all from the computer. Grambler. So when it does load up, it's gonna ask you to sign into your Instagram account. So just put in your username and password. And the next screen you'll see is this one where you can actually upload both pictures 
as well as a video. So we're gonna do a video. So I'm gonna click on the video icon. My drunken shut leg video. And just click the thumbs up. So the next step is you can go ahead and actually write your caption directly in the program, which is kind of convenient. You can also schedule a time or post it immediately. And then hit send. In a few minutes, your video will be up and you'll be done with it. Well, that's it guys, super simple. And what I love about Instagram's 60 second time limit is you're kind of able to use that 60 seconds to create a bit of a tease for like a longer video you've done maybe for YouTube. So you can use your Instagram account to promote your YouTube channel and it works kind of harmoniously like that. What I also love about it, Grambler is being able to upload the videos directly to my Instagram account straight from my workstation. So once everything's done, I don't have to upload to Google Drive, download to my phone, and then upload to my Instagram account. So for me, this is the way of it. This is the way to do it. But that's it for this video, guys. Hit that like button if you found it useful and consider subscribing if you want to hear more about film, film, uh, photography, video editing specifically. But right now, I'm done. So I'm going to eat my cupcake and I'm going to...